Hello guys and welcome back. You are watching my Rise of the Samurai Kamakura Minamoto campaign. Starting immediately, as I said, I will move all my army from Suruga province. I'm building stronghold over here, so trying to keep it safe and move all my army toward the east over here i have a blacksmith province and i can recruit amazing amazing foot samurai units that have improved armor and improved melee attack i will also upgrade koryu training grounds into koryu school so that way i can recruit bow warrior monks uh sorry naginata warrior monks i can already recruit bow monks so it should not be a problem for me to quickly and efficiently take over this part of Japan. One of my agents, Jun Satsushi, is going toward east also. He will try to spread uh, my family influence over there. So maybe I can even try to take over some provinces by persuasion. Uh, or taking over the towns diplomatically if you right click the enemy town you can see the option to request allegiance but for that you need to have uh, your family influence over 50 percent as i said rise of the samurai is quite slow game because uh, it's um, much more focused on diplomacy and uh, spreading your influence around so diplomacy and politics actually uh, that's the main reason game is quite slow but you can win it in a many different in a many different ways and the uh, challenge is much higher than in vanilla shogun 2 so sending my juna sushi toward this trying to spread the influence uh, time to move my generals toward the east all my army here will stay here actually those are mostly levies you can see that we have a three different types of units uh, we have a bow levy naginata levy so levy units those are the peasants and worst unit and cheapest units in the game then we have attendants those are a little bit better and samurais food samurai is the best unit in the game uh, beside it we also have naginata and bow warrior monks that are quite quite strong uh, let's check out diplomacy screen nothing we can do at the moment did i sold my military access to lee clan let's check it out Lee, I think they have yeah they have a military access to my land and they are under the influence of Taira family Shirabiyoshi Shirabiyoshi is also quite interesting agents she can seduce rival characters or entertain my generals and provincial nobles that way my towns will gain in wealth so a lot of politics included in the game check out the mastery of the arts i will soon have iron manufacturing so i can upgrade my farms into rice paddies you can see that i'm quite low with food uh, let's see what can i do at the moment uh, i have enough cash Korea school will wait a little bit i will recruit some food samurais not enough cash for now moving my general toward east and i can end this turn please guys please if you was not watching my previous recordings please help me to reach bigger audience to reach more people and get more subscribers if you really like what i do please support me and uh, help me if you can somehow if you have any kind of idea how can i reach more people and get more subscribers don't hesitate to post a comment down below or on my facebook page you will find the link in the description uh, you can talk with me with no problems i'm quite open person 
so no reason uh, for be shamed uh, please if you have a Twitter account or a Facebook account and if you know some friends that like those kind of games uh, please share this recording over there I will really really appreciate it at this moment I have only 23 subscribers and it's quite hard to stay motivated and um, waste all this time and work for for no one to watch it show of support as a show of support for our esteemed cause the lord of this province has provided us with troops to aid us in battle i have got naginata attendants where oh kai the lord of kai province gave me some naginata attendants but i but i cannot find them where they are it seems like my allies is already attacking Musashi and uh, it's actually not a problem it's actually not a problem in a, in a Shogun 2 uh, I will try to hurry up and take over Musashi before my ally take it but over here you don't have to control the provinces all you have to do is spread your influence so let's see, uh, capture and hold 40 provinces, yeah, I need to capture them. Uh, Minamoto calls. Yeah, I need to capture the province, so let's try to do it before my ally take it. No, I think it will not be possible, I don't have enough movement points, that's the problem. And here are those Naginata attendants. Let's, let, let's, I will need them, okay, I will need them. Bow attendants, food samurai, let's recruit something different now. Let's take more Naginata attendants. Uh, though they are quite good against cavalry, but uh, all, all, all units in, uh, almost all units in the Rise of the Samurai have a loose formation and that's great for cavalry charges you all know that loose formation will get destroyed against cavalry so let's recruit a few more Naginata attendants uh, I think that Zunatsushi is definitely one of the best and most important agents in the game let's see what my Shirabiyoshi can do for me I can seduce the enemy daimyos, enemy agents, enemy generals so they will switch over to my side and that's quite powerful she can also distract the army let's try to level her up let's try to level, level that agent up move to the town to entertain the nobles and increase the growth of the province by plus one I can end my turn and uh, will Kiso Minamoto my sister family my brothers actually will they take over Musashi province I'm not sure is Musashi under my objectives yes Musashi is my objective province and uh, if they take over Musashi I'm really not sure how can I how can I take that province back to me no they didn't they didn't capture it they only looted that province I, I think or maybe they lost the battle I'm really not sure uh, clan destroyed Chiba construction complete stronghold in Suruga province very important defensive defensive building uh, let's see what can I do Let, let's build a barter exchange 
barter exchange uh, uh, beside it's something like a market in a shogun too but beside wealth and growth and uh, one extra agent that you can get later you can upgrade barter exchange into a food storage yep that provides one extra food for you so it's a really good economic building and of course i need more juna tsutsushi agents all right this province is quite weak now so i can really move forward and take over it it will be a quite small battle too bad I wanted to play some siege battles let's attack and declare war do I have any kind of treaties with those guys Edo 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 I have a trade agreement but I'm not sure can I declare war or no. As politeness dictates, as to the response you receive, that depends on what you offer. Can I, can I declare? I know that in Fall of the Samurai, you have a warning that you need to wait a few more turns before declaring the war, if you have any kind of treaties. But let's try it. Let's uh, let's see. Do I have any kind of diplomatic penalties right now with other factions? For example, my sister family. Let's see. Master of the Arts, different allegiances, war. Amakasu. Master of the art. No. Alright, now let's see, will I have any kind of penalties after I declare war with my trade partner? Let's try. Please. Oh! Hmm, I thought this would be an easy battle. And I saw that this banner was quite damaged. If you remember, the banner of uh, of my enemy but now is fully replenished how is that possible all right let's let's quick save it let's quick save it and uh, let's fight them on the battleground later i must check to see do i have any kind of diplomatic penalties for breaking that trade agreement because I know that you need to wait for a, for a few turns before you can declare war on your trade partners or if you break any kind of treaty that you have before time. Today will be a good day if we hold to our creed, do nothing stupid, and help those. Uh, blah 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 blah. I didn't read everything. All right, let's let's quick this little speech and check out. Do they have any kind of walls around? No, no walls. And that's good for me. Let's now see my foot samurais in action. And what is good about foot samurais is that they have bows equipped. So beside katana they also have bows. You can see their stats on the right side of the screen. Quite high, high morale of 9. Melee attack 17. Melee defense 8. Charge bonus 10. Armor 7. Range 150. Reload skill 66. Accuracy 60. And ammunition 25. Uh, let's compare that to Naginata attendance. You can see that difference is quite huge. Melee attack is only 7, while my foot samurais have 17. So quite huge difference. You can see that my generals on horses, they are all in a loose formation. Even foot samurais have a loose formation. 
I cannot remember is there any single unit that can stand in a tight formation no I think not the time period of this game is so early and back then they didn't fight in any kind of formations let's try let's try to group them all maybe oh yeah there there are some formations but no, I don't need them all right let's ungroup them ungroup them I always like to sort my unit unit cards in the way I want and what I don't like actually is those foot samurai have bow bow icon over their heads quite quite bad but all right Time to start the battle. They even have some cavalry. Let's check it out. No, those are the those are generals. I wonder how how I will respond to my actions. Maybe I should recruit more more Naginata troops against cavalry. And even my generals have bow equipped, so they are quite good for, for skirmishing. You can see the general have a range of 150. So very, very different kind of units in, in the Rise of the Samurai. Very different than we have in a Shogun 2. I must say that this is my first serious campaign of Rise of the Samurai. And that's the main reason I... Um, I'm exploring to all those different stats. I'm not so familiar. I don't have so much practice in this game, but I was reading a lot around the forums and I'm sure that I will play this campaign very well. And maybe even you can learn something or maybe even you can learn me something if you post uh, some constructive criticism if you think that some things can be done better feel free to post a comment down below must be careful so my daimyo and my general doesn't get killed uh, let's move those cheap units in front for example bow attendants they will draw the enemy fire on them what do they have uh, bow attendants bow attendants uh, naginata levy bow levy naginata levy general general yeah i will win this i can easily i can easily rush them bow attendants quite a lot of bow units all right let's push forward and let's try to skirmish Let's try to skirmish a little bit. I, I, I was always a huge fan of skirmish units. And even when I'm playing some RPG games, so I always like to play stealth kind of characters with bows, arrows and uh, silent weapons. I don't know, somehow I like those types of units. Uh, enemy is already shooting at me. Uh, my sword attendants, let's, uh, let's make a little bit of pressure charge those bow levy garrison maybe they decide to pull back you can see that they are moving and while they are moving they cannot shoot of course 
so I'm always trying to keep them under the play pressure. Let's compare the accuracy of bow attendants 30 while my foot samurais have accuracy of 60 so double much more accurate Ah, you see they're starting to pull back let's get closer and I even have a whistling arrows wow I didn't know that already already wow let's use the whistling arrows they will lower the morale I think Morale and melee attack. But they are, they are also affecting friendly units. That's bad. Move my generals closer. Time for my foot samurais to engage in melee. You must press F key or press this little button to toggle on the melee mode. Foot Samurai is a really really strong unit. Press F key again and turn on the range so I can shoot in this big blob of units. This is definitely something new for me. Alright, my, my, my generals are now in a melee mode, I will try to rush those garrison levies. Levy garrison, try to get some free kills and that's it, I have won. So always don't forget to toggle on the melee mode for your foot samurais, press F key or press this little button in the bottom left. I will continue the battle and run down the remaining enemy units but only with my generals so they get some free kills and earn some experience points I will see you on a campaign map We have a decisive victory, you can see that my enemy have killed 150 men while I have lost 167. That means I have lost 17 men due to friendly fire. I don't know why I always talk about friendly fire, but I really hate it. I really hate it first of all because it decreases your morale and second it's really really hurting your own men with no any special need. It seems like my bow generals increases in rank. No, only one. Alright, let's level him up and check out the skill tree.
what do we have on the right and what do we have on the left left side wow partisan <laughs> Spreads influence in province where this man is present plus one to happiness. The middle campaign movement range and the right morale for this general and his bodyguards charge for all units under this man command. I think I will go I will go on the left. Yeah, right side is more yeah right side can also be good but uh later right side affects the general and his bodyguards and a little bit affect to to all other units under his command while left side is more like uh, political you can see that left side skill is a leader right is warrior Yeah, I will go with the left. But I also have to take uh, right side if I want bonus to movement range. So let's take both. And uh, higher uh, retainer plus charge bonus for all cavalry and uh, plus five percent to the replenishment rate that's the one that's the one i need i only need to spread my influence now you can see how it is very important to spread your influence build the right buildings and uh, very careful use of your agents especially junzu tsushi as I said, main political agent. Uh, now Minamoto influence is rising by 0 0.5 every turn. But if I move my Junzutsushi here, then it is going up by 5.5. So plus 5 only because of that agent over here. Let's oversee the settlement and uh, check out the const I definitely do not need a bushy training ground because I have one in Sagami I will destroy it and over here I will build something that will spread my influence and the name of that building is Shinden I will build a Shinden over there uh, I'm not sure for how long uh, I'm recording this video, but I have a feeling that it is around 20 minutes, maybe a little bit less. And that's the exact timing I want with all my other recordings, since English is not my native language, it is very hard for me to keep your attention. And that's the main reason I will stop with recording now. And please don't forget to press the like button down there. Post a comment if you have any kind of a question or criticism or maybe an idea how can I reach more people, more subscribers and more views so all my wor work is not useless. Please help me if you can share this recording on your Twitter account if you want, on your Facebook page and I will really, really appreciate it. Thank you for watching guys, until the next time, I wish you all the best and bye bye.